Hi right, guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're gonna go down the breakwater tonight. We got Sam with us. Hell yeah. We got the crab pot, crab wheels, big baits and big rods. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, woo! Got all the luggage with us today. We've got the two wheels and we're gonna strap a few cameras on. We've got two conga rods each and we might throw a big bait out later. And then we've got the crab pot that we're gonna chuck down and leave to the end of the trip just in hopes for a Larry Lobster and see how we get on. Hell yeah. Okay. Rigs we're using today guys. Got 150 pound trays to a big barrel swivel, a size eight mustard hook or 80 mustard hook to just our little eco weights, just so we're not putting lead in the water. And what we got is some fresh packets of mackerel that we just cut in half like that. And we get our hook straight under the throat latch and straight out the top. And that's perfect for a nice big conga. So we're gonna get them all out now and hopefully we get lucky. What we got as bait for the uh, crab pot. We've got old bluey that's really mushy, so we kept it just for this. And last time we did this with cuttlefish, we had a big conger in here. So we're gonna give it a go again. And like we've shown in previous videos, we've got three baits in this crab wheel, and they're all on the side of where the entrance is. So hopefully the lobsters will walk in. We're yet to get a lobster in this yet. We've had conger, spider crab, big cuttlefish, but just not a lobby. So hopefully, we can get one tonight. So we get this baited up, get it thrown out. As you can see guys, we've got a big sash weight in the bottom there to anchor it to the bottom. We've got mackerel this side, bluey this side and cuttlefish this side. So anything around, hopefully it goes in there. So the wheel all baited up now guys. And hopefully we can see a few things on the bottom. Sam's getting this boy baited. Big old L mackerel head. <laughs> Go on, Sam, big fry.
that's everything out now we've got two conga rods each the wheel and the crab pots down here and we've got another crab wheel around the back here so hopefully between all this we can start pulling something up a lot of weed around what's up so those spiders Bad little spider. There you go. He ain't biting me. There you go, guys. Nice little spider there. Do you want him? Yeah. We're gonna give this to the chaps next to us. We don't want it tonight. But after those lobbies. Go on, Sam. <laughs> Show us the bacon. Good job. What a fine catch that is, eh? Zilch. Just coming up now. Oh, that's a nice one. Not a bad one. Ready, Sal? Gonna flip it. There you go, guys. First eel of the day. Wrapping up the lines as they do. Not a very big one, only about four pound. They're getting de hooked. Get you a better show and we'll get them released. Hell yeah! How we like to de-hook them guys. This one's hooked perfectly in the snout. Get your T-bar, get it in the bend of the hook, and push the line down, and then a little shake, and it's straight off. 
Beautiful. Come here. I'll just put my light off a sec. There you go, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> chill out, chill out. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. <laughs> nice little wheel there. I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to get him back. Hell yeah. What I like to do with mackerel, guys, just run the knife down the backbone, both sides, and then take the backbone out. And that creates a better hookup for when a fish bites. And hopefully, you can land the beast. Now we'd like to hook him straight under the throat latch. Just like that, and that gives a lot of movement, a lot of scent in the water. How I like to prep my cuttlefish, guys. That's a cuttlefish, very similar to a squid, full of juice and ink. And what you do, if you push on the back here, this will pull the bone out. You don't want to have that covering your hook if a fish bites. And what I personally like to do is get one hook straight through the head, and then both sections of the meat just like that. So you've got a lot of hook exposure and a big conger will swallow that in one. That's an ideal bait for any size fish that. Anything over 10 pound. Hell yeah. Still nothing in that one. Oh no. That little lady crab. <laughs> Tiny, eh? Yeah. Little babby lady crab there, guys. We're not doing very well in the wheels today. We're hoping for a lucky lobster. We'll get them back out, see what Sam's got. Come on, you lobsters, where are you at? <laughs> Hopefully, in the wheel. What, Sam? Can't see anything. What's in there? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> On the crab part now, guys. I'm not getting too lucky at the moment, so I'm hoping for something to cook. Nothing at all. 